show how the, ro the rape of the lock mirrors English society of the 18th century. It is therefore a microcosm of the life at that time in the following ways. The aspect of class and social stratification. The poem presents aristocrats who gather at Hampton Court is on trivial social activities such as playing cards, drinking tea, and gambling. They also take part in idle conversation. Belinda, the two knights that confront her in the game of Umbre are some of the people of the high class. The idea of vain glory in sexes. Women like Belinda have great concern for vanity, elaborate makeup, exaggerated dressing, table manners, etc. The baron on his part conducts a ritual worship only to solicit the guidance of the gods to help in his lust to Belinda. Only part of that request is granted, reason why he loses the lust of her. It is a century where women do all to assert and consolidate their personality while the men stand firm to maintain the status quo. The conflict between Belinda and the Baron over the game of Umbre is an example which translates into the battle of the sexes. The victory of Belinda over the Baron in the game is symbolic of women's ambition and strive to dominate men in the society. It also highlights hypocrisy, which was common during the century. A woman was expected to entice and attract the man that she intended to get married to, and at the time maintain her virginity. Paradoxically, any woman that loses this before marriage is neglected by men. This explains why Belinda exaggeratedly laments the raping of her lock of hair. Superstition was also part of and parcel of this century. There is the belief in the influence of the supernatural seen in the presence of fairies, gods, and bad spirits. In the poem, there are seals, norms, names that protect, guard, save Belinda. It is also a highly fashionable century. Men wear wigs, tie ribbons on their heels of their swords against the, to seduce women. The ladies keep lap dogs imported from India to give the impression that they are ladies of class. Belinda belongs to this group of women.